Hello and welcome. We're here at IPCM World 2019 and uh, it's day three. It's day three of the show, but it's not over yet. There's still tons going on around the show. We've got uh, knowledge sessions, which will continue to run throughout the day. Uh, we've got meetings continuing to take place. So many stands are still busy. There's still business being done. So if you are in the area, uh, then get down here. It's not over yet. Uh, we're currently walking the show floor, specifically the Africa region. And we are meeting some of the uh, exhibitors who are here uh, in the hopes that they can tell us a little bit about their destinations. So first up, we have Egypt. Hello, Mohammed. Hello, you are welcome here at the Egyptian stand. Thank you so much for your visit. Oh, no problem at all. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Mohammed uh, Ismail. Uh, I am from Egyptian Tourism Promotion Board, uh, a director in the international tourism sector. Fantastic. So why is it that MICE professionals should add Egypt to their list of destinations? Uh, actually, uh, as you know, Egypt is uh, considered one of uh, the most important destinations in, uh, in MICE uh, niche product. Uh, we come this year in order to uh, give an idea to the hosted buyers about uh, the, tourist the tourist destination that we have and the, the niche products that we have. We have a mix of uh, culture, tourism, uh, scuba diving, uh, desert safari uh, facilities in uh, Cairo International Convention Center with uh, capacity of 4,000 uh, delegates. We have another convention center in Charm Sheikh. Uh, so uh, I think this is an opportunity in order to promote uh, Egypt as a destination for mice, not only for culture, tourism, or for uh, sun and beach, but we have a lot of things to show to uh, the hosted buyers and to uh, DMCs in, in this big event. Fantastic stuff. All right, get down here and check out Egypt. Thank you so much, Mohammed. Uh, have a great show. And uh, we'll see you later. Great, great stuff. Um, if you're just joining us, we are currently live at IPTM World 2019. Uh, it's day three, still lots going on, lots of meetings, lots of education. Uh, and we're currently walking the show floor, meeting some of our exhibitors from the Africa region. Uh, I mean, one of the best things about this show is just how diverse it is. You know, there are just so many countries exhibiting here and really whatever you're looking for you can find it here so our next exhibitor just around the corner here is the Seychelles the lovely Seychelles so let's say hello to our friend Bernadette hello Bernadette hello good morning how are you oh fine thank you Fantastic. So uh, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about who you are? Oh, well, I'm Bernadette uh, Villamin, the original director for Europe for the Seychelles Tourism Board. Fantastic. So why is it that MICE professionals should add the Seychelles to their list of destinations? Oh, definitely. Uh, the MICE will definitely find their place in the Seychelles. While the Seychelles, for the one and simple reason that it is a year-round destination, then we can cater for the MICE business throughout the whole year with an average temperature of 29 degrees. And contrary to what you think, Seychelles is more than just the sand, sea and beaches. So there is a variety, a selection, a wide variety of activities that they can do. Definitely linked to the sea because we're surrounded by the sea, but also the interior of the island when it touches also the culture, the people, uh, and like I say, it is, it is year-round. Very easy to get to us, we're not very far from Europe, but even from other continents as well, they more than welcome to come uh, to come and see us. Easy formalities, they no, no, nobody needs visa, Those, this simplifies uh, one's life as well. And in terms of uh, infrastructure, we've got uh, different categories of hotels to be able to cater for different sizes of groups, for all tastes, for all budget uh, as well. Wow, tons to do in the Seychelles. I mean, why wouldn't you check it out? So come and meet Bernadette. Come and say hello. She's here at the show. Uh, you're here all day. And thank you for your time. Thank you very much. And we look forward for, to welcome you on our stand. Fantastic. Have a great show. Thank you. Brilliant. So, I mean, how many shows can you go from Egypt to the Seychelles with just a few steps? It really is fantastic here. It's a fantastic atmosphere. If you haven't been able to make it to IBTM World this year, 
um, then continue to check out our live streams. Uh, you can also go back and watch previous ones and just see a little bit of what's been going on. Um, if you're just joining, we're live at IPCM World 2019 and we're currently walking the Africa region, meeting some of our fantastic exhibitors. Next up, we have South Africa. Hello, how are you? Fine, are you? Uh, Amanda Kutzenklapo. I'm heading up the National Convention Bureau for South Africa, South African Tourism. Fantastic. So thank you for being on camera, joining us today. Yeah. Um, would you like to share a little bit about South Africa? Yo, a little bit. You know, it takes a day to talk about South Africa. <laughs> you know, um, I think a destination that are definitely open for business, that uh, would love to um, share our experiences, our diversity of experiences. Um, would love to share our expertise, you know, of our academics and our professionals um, to host meetings in South Africa. Um, and then, of course, you know, um, whilst people look at us and see all the nature re resorts and you know wildlife our people is our asset you know um, we have uh, 11 official languages in our country and so you know a diversity of culture um, every minute can something new can happen fantastic I mean diversity really is the word of the day uh, so is there anything else you'd like to add you know, I think um, uh, wonderful uh, for us to be here, um, you know, and, and as I said, I think um, Africa um, really needs people to come and help us build, um, but Africa also has something to give, you know, to the world. And one of those things are um, reconciliation, working together, um, you know, coming up with uh, new innovative ideas, um, because challenges give you that um, opportunity. And the very last thing I want to say is that, um, you know, uh, a few years ago, the first resemblance of people was discovered in our country, in South Africa. Uh, you can go and come and visit, because I believe that everyone's you know, road lead back to South Africa. Um, it's just outside Johannesburg, um, Maruping, and, um, and therefore I think if you touch the soil of our country and of our continent, it will change you forever. Wow, that is a really lovely sentiment. Uh, fantastic, thank you so much. Yes. Uh, great, I mean, come down, head over to the South Africa stand, uh, say <laughs> hello, and did you bring any soil with you? Uh, we, we are the soil. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Thank you so much. Thank Have a great you. show. Great, great stuff. Now there is someone who knows how to tell a story. Right, so I think we've got one more lined up. Just around the corner here. Let's see how we go. If you're just joining us, we're currently live at IBCM World 2019. We are walking the show floor. And today, at this very moment, we're checking out the Africa region. There is tons going on at this show there really is you can turn a corner and see something that you just weren't expecting there's tons of entertainment on the show floor lots of meetings happening uh and let's go and say hello to our next our next guest so hello Hi. How, how are you i'm good thank you how are you I'm very well thank you so would you like to start by introducing yourself okay my name is wanjeri mahiti um from kenya I'm here representing a property called Enashipai Resort and Spa. Enashipai is based in Naivasha, which is an hour away from Nairobi. So today we're here talking to the global meetings uh, market, uh, just telling them how beautiful Kenya is and how fantastic our weather is. So, yeah. So I'm guessing that there's a bit more than weather going on in Kenya. So why is it that mice professionals should add this to their list of destinations? Okay, um, a couple of reasons uh, why people need to come to Kenya. Um, I talked about the weather, weather is great, but Kenya is the hub of East Africa. So if you're looking to do business with East Africa, with the rest of Africa, Kenya is a good entry point. So I would say if you're trying to meet the rest of Africa, a great place to start uh, would be to bring people into Kenya. From people coming in from Europe, from Middle East, from China, from the US, there's fantastic connections into Kenya. So in terms of connectivity and how to get to Kenya, it's easy. Um, coming out of, um, say for example, London, Amsterdam, you're going to get daily flights. So that's, coming into Kenya is not a problem, um, coming into Kenya. Another thing people need to come and meet in Kenya is the people. 
we have warm and friendly people. I mean, just look at the team behind me. <laughs> the team behind me. But it's, 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 it's an amazing experience. Once you interact with the Kenyan people, you'll want to come back to Kenya. Um, they call Kenya the Silicon Savannah. So in terms of tech, <laughs> um, if you're looking to deal with people who are technologically aware, advanced, just it's a fantastic place to come. So it's not a surprise that a lot of people are coming to talk to the Kenyans to deal with their tech, to deal with the developers, the apps, all that is happening in Kenya. So that's another good reason to come into Kenya. Yeah. <laughs> um, in terms of uh, Naivasha, which is the place um, where the hotel is based, Naivasha is fantastic because one, it's just outside Nairobi, an hour away from Nairobi. But the other reason why you want to come into Naivasha, we have Lake Naivasha. So Lake Naivasha is home to over 500 bird species. So it's a fantastic, fantastic place to just come and see. The hotel where we are based in Nashipai, um, just walking from your hotel room down to the lake, you get to see hippos every day because we feed the hippos every day. And that's not a thing you see every day this side of the world. I don't think so. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, yeah. Could you just finish by telling us a little bit about what these are? All right. Oh, these are lovely trinkets. Um, it's a bracelet made by people in Kenya. So it's beads. This is the flag of Kenya. But on this other side here, this is um, KICC. KICC is the main convention center in, in Kenya. It can host up to 10,000 people. It's right in the city center. So this is, you know, like a little giveaway to help you remember the people. Fantastic. Yeah, so get down here to the Kenya stand and pick up one of these and say hello to the team. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add in these final moments? Um, Karibu Kenya, which means welcome to Kenya. <laughs> yeah, and see you soon. Brilliant. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah, come down. Check out Kenya. Thanks. Well, I mean, fantastic. What a great array of destinations that we've just met. Uh, if you just tuned in, we've just met with some of our exhibitors from the Africa region at IPCM World 2019. It's been a fantastic three days, but it is not over yet. There's still tons going on, lots of productive meetings, uh, tons of education um, and destinations and exhibitors on display like come and meet them what, what are you doing uh, if you can't make the show check us out on our social uh, you're already watching a live stream on Facebook but we've got all of our other streams from the rest of the uh, show available so you can watch those on demand uh, we've got some behind the scenes stuff going on Instagram so if you event planners out there that will look a little bit familiar to you some of the challenges and you know some of the fun behind the scenes uh, and fantastic you know get down here get to the show